Okay, tonight for tea, or dinner, uh, or supper, depending on where in the world you are, we are going to have chicken with a creamy mushroom sauce over a bed of tagliatelle. But, 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 okay, get to the point, guy. We are going to make the tagliatelle ourselves with the tagliatelle making machine. Can I put this down now? It's heavy. Yeah. Okay. But first, we're going to drink more beer. Here's a bunch of flowers. Oh, thank you, honey. We need plain flour for this, and we're going to make a recipe. Uh, we're actually going to take the instruction booklet that came with the pasta making machine and throw it away. And we're going to go with a recipe that we found online because that's where everything is these days. So we need how many grams of flour do we need? 140. 140 grams of plain white flour. Okay, now we need two eggs of a medium size. So what we have here are eggs of a medium size. One whole, one yolk. One whole, one yolk. And this tagliatelle is going to be garlic and herb tagliatelle, so we're really going to town on this. I'm going to make this smaller recipe. Which is enough to serve two. Oh. So one whole and one yolk. Now, see, if we'd had our own chickens, we might have actually gotten a double yolker. <coughs> Do this until we get it to our kind of a doughy mixture. Doing a good job, honey. I know. I'm your taste tester, right? Yeah, does that taste okay? Hmm, let me see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just add a little bit more of the egg white. Because, I mean, his idea of a medium sized egg can be completely different from Tesco's. Oh, forgetting the egg white tends to be a bit. Binding? Oh. Yes, um, it kind of all went in. So, uh, slight alteration on this recipe, uh, 140 grams of flour and two eggs. <laughs> one whole and one whole. Yeah. I just have to knead this now. Oh, well, I need it. <laughs> Thank you very much, I'm here every Saturday night. It looks like it has a face with one eye winking at us. You might want to stop taking that medication, honey. You know what I forgot? What? The garlic and herb. <laughs> honey, you, you truly bring the dough home, don't you? Don't you need a, a bowl to catch it? Yeah, okay. It doesn't fit, honey. Maybe it's a bit dry. Anyway, this really gets the dough. I'm going to cheat a little bit here. I have no idea if this is going to work. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. We're getting there. Rome wasn't built in a day. Not if they were eating pasta like this. <laughs> Looking good. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like making a samurai sword. You have to fold it over uh, several thousand times to get the perfect blade. Okay, so it's not exactly like making a samurai sword, but... As you can see, 
Obviously the sheep is now starting to take shape here. Right, now, what we need to do now is adjust the tension between the two big rollers and there's a little dial here at the side as you can see it's on number one I turn it to number two or three <laughs> number two. Or, or four as you can see the rollers are getting I don't know if you can okay. that'll give us a thinner longer piece more into the rollers, dear friend. Cry havoc, and let's slip the baguettes of war. Now you can see that's producing a sheet of nice smooth consistency. We'll crank this up a notch to number three. It does actually get to the point where the tension between the two rollers is maybe just a little too much. And depending on the consistency of your dough, you can actually start sticking to them. Not good. Because we're making tag with telly, we want a reasonable length of sheet and a reasonable sort of uh, thickness, I suppose you would call it. That's the depth. Okay, so now we have our sheet. <coughs> Good job we've got little green bits in here, honey. One more notch. The secret's in keeping it moving, <laughs> he says, stopping it, so that it doesn't bunch up underneath. Actually, that's about right. Okay, so now, as you can see, we have a nice big long sheet of pasta. So now we're going to run it through the Tagliatelle one, which is this one. Now this can be a bit tricky because I've got this great big long sheet and we have to feed this through at this end whilst maintaining the feed at the other end. These are big ones. That's what she said. Yeah. There we go. Garlic and herb tagliatelle. As we have our swastika drying machine. <laughs> and we put the tagliatelle. Actually, you know what we're going to do? What? We're going to cut the tagliatelle. So we'll put this out to dry. Which doesn't take long. I mean, I think you can actually cook straight away with it, like this. So, you're on the cleaning up then? I'll take that as a no. Cleaning up my plate? Good enough.